What's up guys, Coach DC, your favorite bad boy trainer on the internet, online coach and mentor to many. First and foremost, guys, I'm an entertainer. Second, I'm speaking to adults, so this is X-rated content. If you're a child, make sure you get your parents. Number three, all right, you are the owner of your life, all right? First and foremost, guys, what I'm going to be speaking about is Rise of the King. That's an event I just got done with AZD, my mentor, first and foremost. All right, so that's what I'll be speaking about. What was this event about? It's about rising as a king in your life. And what does that mean? It means that you come first in your life. You, your opinion comes first and foremost before anybody else's opinion. As the king of your kingdom, the only opinion that you value is the people who are within your kingdom, your tribe, your community, your men that support you, your women, all right? You care about their opinions, but your opinion first and foremost is the one that matters, okay? As you rise up as being a king, you will get re respect and admiration from other kings, other men that are doing their shit, but another king will not hate on you, all right? The only people who are going to hate on you are people who wish they could be you who wish they could be you or do what you do, right? That's the only people who are going to hate on you, okay? Rising as a king in your life. To be a king, you have to have women. You're not a king if you don't have any women. Or if you are, like, you got to have women. What the fuck's going on if you don't have women? And to be a king, you got to be leading men. You got to have an army. You have to have a tribe, a community of men. You have to be leading and doing your shit making your empire, making your kingdom, to be a king. But first, before that, you have to be the king of yourself. You have to throne yourself and give yourself a crown before you start leading women or men or anything like that. You have to, th you have to be a king within yourself first. And what does that mean? It means fuck anybody else's opinion. It means holding yourself to the highest standard in your life. You know, it means communicating as a king. With the confidence, the courage, the clarity, the everything that you have, you have to be communicating, giving yourself the highest respect in everything you do. You got to represent yourself as a king. Dress good. Smell good. Walk, stand, you know, head up, eyes up. Look like you're winning because you are. A king's not losing. A king's not sad and depressed. A king's straight winning. He's fucking killing his shit. Every single day, every single way. That's what a king does. All right? A king doesn't allow a woman of anybody to tell him what to do. To tell him how to dress, what to say, what not to do. A woman, that's a queen if she's with the king. Right? But she must respect him as a king. And a king does not take orders, does not say, does not do anything that a woman says. The reason you are a queen is because you are with me. I am the king. So you're not a queen without me. You, you're not. And she says, well, I could be a queen with somebody else. Then get the, if, if, you're, if your woman even says that, get the fuck out of here. You are no queen of mine. You are no woman of mine. All right? So you don't allow no woman to tell you anything. You don't allow any men to tell you anything unless they are part of your tribe and your community. They're one of you. Your mentors, unless you're paying them for, for advice or for opinions, or they're a part of your tribe, their opinion doesn't fucking matter. All right? A man, a man and a king must lead. So what are you doing to lead? Lead in what? Your health and fitness, in your finances, in your business? Are you creating a king? Are you, are you creating an empire? Are you living your life's purpose and making an impact and changing people's lives as easy as you blink your eyes? A motherfucking man on a motherfucking mission. A king, a god, a warrior. Making shit happen. Being the best and fucking the rest. That's what it means to be a king. See, are you a man that is not being a king in your life? Are you a man that's doing shit for other people. You know what? My clients come to me because of my self-integrity. And the people are a part of my program because of my integrity and who I am as a leader. But guess what? I don't need your fucking money. I don't need you as a fucking client. If you ain't trying to get fucking better and be a part of my fucking group and become a man, a king, a god in your life, 
You want to be a bitch boy? Get the fuck out of here. Take your fucking 200, 300,000, 2,000, 3,000 dollars and fucking piss and eat that shit. <laughs> Take a big fat dump on it over there because I don't need your fucking money. See, your money is worth the investment in exchange that you give and to show that you're committed and you're making sacrifices for your improvement and becoming the best version of yourself. That's what it is. But you know what's more important than your fucking money? Because I don't want your fucking money. I want you to change your fucking life and get better and to improve. All right. So what's more important than your fucking money? It's your soul. It's your integrity. It's your word. The doing what it takes to reach your goals. Right. If you want to sign up with me and become a client of mine, I'll take your money. Cool. But I want your soul. And what I mean your soul is I want you to be serious about your life. Because every single thing is your life. Everything is your life. If you're not if you're not taking what you do seriously, you don't take your life seriously. If you don't take your relationship, your communications, your family, your job, the way you dress, the way you smell, the way you speak seriously, you don't take your life serious. You are only serious about your life and the results that you get and the life experience that you're having to the level you take everything serious. And what do I mean serious? I mean, hey, it fucking matters. This is my fucking life. Everything that I do is my life. It's my decision, All right? So when you're, when you're being a king, you gotta define what you want and go after it and get it. I'm the type of man who respects power, <laughs> that, values rep uh, that re values power and respect and loves beautiful women. And I'm the type of man that gets whatever he wants, whatever he puts his mind to. That's the type of man I am. See, what type of man are you? All right, with that being said, guys, it's the end of the live. It's the rise of the king. So I hope you arose in your king a little bit as I spoke right now. If you would like to learn about my program, my transformation program, message me, transformation. If you'd like to learn my, about my tribe, my Spartan gods, where I help them become warriors, kings, and gods in their life and become Spartan warriors, message me Spartan to join my tribe. Become a warrior, a king, a god, a man on a motherfucking mission, making shit happen. Message me Spartan. And if you want to, if you want to join my event, I highly suggest it. I'm about to be lecturing what I just lectured about for two straight hours, giving you, igniting the flame within you, the purpose and why to become a king, a warrior, a god within your life, to become a Spartan god within your life. Fuck just the fitness and health. It's about money. It's about impact. It's about legacy. It's about women. It's about respect, money, power as a fucking man, king, a god. That's what this event's about. Absolutely going to change your life. Message me if you would like to attend that event. With that being said, guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Be the best. Fuck the rest. Salute.